So we're now moving away from general insurance to life insurance. Oh. So what's happening in the world of life insurance after there are some really exciting projects going on? People are looking at AI and underwriting, robo-advice, chatbots to improve the process. So that all looks really great. And you're in that off-site team, and then you go back to head office and say, I want to implement this. You know what it's going to look like? It's going to look like that. The problem is, is that the fundamental core systems of the life insurance industry, and I used to be on the board of uh, Canada Life, so I know what I'm talking about in that sense, were built for the offline world. And they haven't really been able to move on. We've been distracted by solvency too, by all kinds of regulation, financial crisis. So there you're stuck with old systems designed for the offline world, very hard to meet expectations of customers. They're extremely expensive. Forget about data analytics because half your processes aren't digital. And how are you going to integrate with other distribution channels? How are you going to be part of another ecosystem? So instead of going home and crying about it, uh, community life has a solution. Okay, I, I'm not related to Elon Musk, and this is probably an overstatement, but nevertheless, we have actually made life insurance digital end-to-end. -end. And I mean end-to-end. -end. So, robo-advice, online underwriting, online policy issuance. And when you have that policy, you're not off into the paper world, which is at the very latest, what mo all life companies give you today is you've got your application and then you're off into a paper world. Our customers can do everything online. They can change their beneficiary, their payment method, everything. And they and their advisors love it because they're in control. And you know what? The insurance companies like it too because you've got massively reduced costs. You need one person to manage, say, 32,000 policies. You've also got, finally, data that's actually trackable, so you can actually use it. And you can integrate with other ecosystems. You can start fulfilling customer expectations. And what we've done is we have used uh, this first customer, a Swiss Re subsidiary, set them up on the platform under the brand Community Life. And I have to say, maybe just to explain, what do we do? So we're not the insurance company. We provide the online acquisition journey, so we do have an intermediary license, and we are a business process outsourcing provider. So what do we do? We administer the book of business, the complete book of business, and we fulfill all the criteria that you need to, you know, the cyber risk assessments, the penetration tests, GDPR, we do it all. It's a compliance system, and we're now onboarding the next, next life company, uh, which has also asked us, could we do this platform for them for the Swiss market? So we consider that to be a very good um, sort of recognition of the quality of what we have built. But the best thing is this. So the first platform has had a lot of awards. Um, and I could choose one. Uh, my favorite is 58 net promoter score. If anybody knows about insurance and how people don't usually like it, it's double the best score. So the design of the platform and the self-service and the transparency, you call up for advice. Your advice is also digitally uploaded. It's all digital. People like it. And if you look at how we've built it, microservices architecture, cloud, open source where it makes sense, container provisioning, we can interact with all of these other distribution channels because we talk the same language. And this is really, really critical for life insurance that needs to find access to new distribution. And in line with uh, what we do, we're all really a bit, we're all, shall I say, a bit more experienced. You have to be when you negotiate with life companies, you need to know their business, you need to understand regulation, and we have a team that has that kind of experience. Just to recap, so when you walk out for your drink, you remember community life, what have we done? We have made a low-cost, state-of-the-art solution that can take new business to which policies can be migrated, so you can take your existing book, put it on the platform. We have happy customers because it's completely digital and it's transparent to them, and all of a sudden, you can actually start applying data analytics. You can use the sexy stuff that you've worked on off-site because you've got data and it's integratable. So what do we want, uh, why did we come to NOAA? So we're always looking for new partners uh, to uh, look at distribution models, of course, or insurance companies, but we're also doing a fundraising towards the end of the year. Uh, so if anybody is interested, uh, please contact us. And I think I'm done. Oh, I have a minute left. So actually, I could say, does anybody have any questions? No. 
No, no, no. Yeah, we, we don't do. We're not actually doing any questions right now. But anyway, if there was, if there was a question, I would come round with a microphone. Is there? Are there? <laughs> <laughs> or should we save that for coffee? Yeah. Um, anybody who wants to meet for a coffee, uh, yeah. I'm going out that way. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>